In this video, we're going to learn how to insert a table of contents. A table of contents is ideal for long documents where the reader can easily navigate to different headings. Before we go any further, click on a home tab and click on a show high tool. Before including a table of contents, the document must contain styles. For an in-depth video on styles, check out my video on styles from my word playlist. First, make a note of which styles to include in the table of contents. In this document, I want to include the first and second headings along with the schedules. To check what the style names are, switch to Draft View on the View tab. To increase the draft margin, click on File Options. Click on the Advanced tab and scroll down to the Display section. In the Draft and Outline Views window, type any number above 3 cm. I'm going to type 7. Click OK. Now we can view the styles in the margin and can also resize the margin. The style name of the headings I want to include are Heading 1, Heading 2 and Schedule. Place the cursor where you want to insert the table of contents. Click on the References tab and click on Table of Contents. There are several built-in table of contents to choose from but we're going to select Custom Table of Contents. There are several options to choose from to edit the appearance of the table of contents, like whether to include page numbers or the tab header. I'm going to leave all the default selections as they are and click on Options. As we're going to populate the table of contents with styles, we'll leave Styles selected. I'm going to delete all of the numbers in the TLC level window so that no styles are selected. Now I'm going to find the styles I want, which are Heading 1 and Heading 2. I want Heading 1 to appear as the first level, so we'll type the number 1 next to the style. I want Heading 2 to appear as the second level, so we'll type the number 2 next to the style. It's important to note that any number which appears next to a style will appear in the table of contents. Click OK. To modify how the levels will appear, click on Modify. I'm going to click on TOC1, which represents the first level in the table of contents, and click on Modify. I'm going to make the font bold. To make more specific font formats, click on Format and select Font. I'm going to make the effect all caps and the font colour blue. Click OK. Now I'm going to format the second level by clicking on TOC2. This time I'm going to make the font bold and italics. Click OK. The headings are now appearing in the TLC with the page reference also appearing. To navigate to the headings, hover over the page number until the pointer appears and press Ctrl and click on the keyboard. I forgot to include the schedule styles in the table of contents. A quick way to include additional styles to the TLC is to select the TLC. Press Alt and the F9 key on your keyboard to toggle to the edit view. Place the cursor before the closing quote marks and type the name of the style. I want to include the schedule style, so we'll type the style name exactly as it appears in the styles panel. Type a comma with no spaces, then type the level number you want that style to appear as. I want the schedules to appear as level 1, so we'll type 1. Press Alt and the F9 key again to toggle back to the normal view. To update the TLC, right click on it and select Update Field. Select Update Entire Table. Now the schedule styles are appearing. However, unlike Schedules 1 and 3, the title name of Schedule 2 is not appearing. To fix this, navigate to that schedule heading. Make sure the Show Hide tool is turned on. After the schedule title, press the Shift and Enter key to insert a soft return. I'm going to include two soft returns. Delete the hard return. Now if we go back and update the TLC, the schedule title is appearing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more.